Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Attack at Dawn, a upcoming World War II real-time or turn-based uh, war game that takes place in North Africa during the sort of desert fox campaigns between the British, Rommel, and eventually Montgomery. Uh, this is the second video I've done on this game. This was taken from a live stream on my channel on Friday night. And uh, this is part two of my first look at Attack at Dawn. Now, we did play the demo when that was available before, but the full game is coming out on June 7th, and that's what I'm taking a preview look here uh, at in today's video. We got our fight off to a good start here. This is the first battle, Operation Sonnenblum, the first battle in the full campaign, which covers March of 41 until December of 42. And the campaign's gotten off to a good start. We haven't taken our objectives. Our objectives are Benghazi and uh, Mersili, or however you pronounce that. Basically, this is the first German counterattack against the British after the Italians are thrown back. The Africa Corps has just arrived. We are playing as the Germans. And um, we've, we've inflicted horrific casualties on British armor at light losses to ourselves. We still have a good deal of ground to cover to take to take all the objectives we need to take uh, but we're off to a good start having wrecked three british uh, armored regiments i think we destroyed completely two and badly mauled a third i, I don't think they have anything else um, but now we got to push forward we got to take several objectives uh, we've got to do it before the time runs out and the enemy still has quite a bit of infantry and some anti-tank guns as well as some air power so uh, they're not beaten yet. Now, this was taken from a live stream, as I already said, on my Twitch channel. If you're interested in joining those, there's a link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're picking this up midstream. So uh, there's your intro, and let's jump right in. So these guys look like they replenish supply on this track land in inland. So that's good news for us. Let's do this. Let's move the 27th. Unpause, or not unpause, but let's move the 27th into this airfield over here. The 5th will push up toward Benghazi still. The 19th is still moving. Okay. All right. So we'll keep pushing along these tracks. We've split our forces here, which may not be. Why are these guys not using the roads? Italian infantry is just like, we're going to march along the ocean instead of the road. Uh, my uh, damaged aircraft should be better. They are. Well, the Italians are too slow to keep up, so. I don't know why the units periodically stop and I have to keep issuing orders for them to move. You can see how much more efficient my German units are at moving up this roadway. Maybe they'll take the roadway if I order them to be on the road. Also, these guys are on a coastal road as opposed to these guys just taking a dirt, what I believe amounts to a dirt track up the middle. Hey, diddle diddle, right up the middle. All right. So this day's mostly just been spent marching. Give me some recon, though, boys. Let me know what's at uh, Benghazi up here. What do we have in store for us? Twenty-seventh. How about you stick to the track? Get back on the roadway. Okay. So, what are we discovering here? We've got an enemy artillery position here. Seventy-two guns stationed out front. More artillery here, along with Australian infantry. An anti-tank regiment. Infantry and guns. I think this is like everyone. I don't know that they even have anyone at 
seal out here to the east. So maybe sending the Italians in that direction, if they can even get there in time, was the uh, right decision. Thanks, uh, Command the Destroyer. Appreciate the support and the follow. Let's go ahead and bombard someone. I want to. I want some butts. Uh, let's go bomb this anti this artillery piece. Out in the open in the desert, artillery is so goddamn important in this game. All right. Meanwhile, do I have any artillery of my own in range? I think they're too far back. Oh, they can bombard. All right. Hit that artillery, and then you guys get up there and engage this enemy uh, gun before it can get too far away. Free guns in the open seems like a good, a good thing to attack. Damn right we want to murder those 25 pounders with extreme prejudice. We're apparently still bombarding them even though I can't see them anymore. I am very low on fuel. In theory, our convoys are supposed to keep up here. But uh, I think we may have out. We're still waiting on them. When's the next convoy? ETA, four hours. Okay, well, it's going to be almost nightfall before we... So Benghazi will be uh, attacked for tomorrow. What does this supply icon mean? Does it mean it's a port or a supply source? Italian tanks are pretty much out of fuel. Keep moving inland, boys. Hey, our Italian infantry is finally coming up. God bless the 19th Division. I can definitely use your artillery. Okay, so the enemy infantry is moving into position here to attack me. So we're going to pull you guys off the road. They're hitting my lead elements with, inf with infantry, which I guess I'm kind of okay with. Like, if you want to attack those guys, that's fine. I need more fucking fuel, though. So this looks like a roughly even fight, slightly favoring them, but I don't even have an additional unit in action yet. These guys need more fuel, really, probably, to be super effective. And all my troops... Are oh, no, they routed me! They routed my infantry! Alright, at least our armor and anti-tank guns get into the fight. Maybe that'll even things out a bit. So the enemy is bringing their troops up there, hitting us hard with Artie. Okay, bombard those anti-tank guns. I do not want those guys. To, oh, now they're pulling back. Nice. Okay, so our supply arrived. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Artillery pull back here. Italian artillery. Pound this enemy infantry. Let's, let's wreck the first Northumbrian. Oh, end of day four. Okay, so end of day four. So what are we doing now? Quote Rommel Harder. <laughs> uh, so we've got 11 enemy tanks. They've knocked out 11 of ours, but there's 11 enemy tanks left. Another 300 enemy casualties. About 300 of ours, I think, today. So it was a little bit of a bloodier day. Um, yeah. Okay. The British repaired a few tanks, yes. All right. Meanwhile, how are our troops pushing? Going. All right. So 27th. Keep. It's raining. Well, that's great. Keep pushing inland. 27th.
Okay. Meanwhile, Italian infantry. I want you to attack the British in the open here. I want our artillery to bombard these fuckers. Um, okay. So we should be wrecking this first Northumbrian based on what I'm looking at here. And then I'm going to push my armor up around him to try and go hit this enemy artillery and anti-tank position here. So first Northumbrian, I think they were also one of the first infantry groups we engaged. They have a fair amount of anti-tank guns, which would probably help do some damage against us if we just attack foolishly. Oh, shit. Pause. So there are 12 enemy tanks uh, trying to hit our armor on the flank or our artillery. Because I left it out there exposed on its own. Um, airfield, where are you? Jesus, you're far back. There are a handful of, of tanks left making one last lunge. Great, so I can't shift fire once they're firing. Got to wait for them to reload. Can we just have you withdraw before you get wrecked by the enemy armor? That would be ideal. All right, that enemy battalion of infantry might get destroyed. down to 200 soldiers. Only 10 anti-tank guns left in that unit. How many anti-tank guns have they lost? Oh, we have a lot more than them in terms of anti-tank guns. Okay. We have lost two artillery pieces. They lost three. I think those are the Italian guns getting hit by the enemy armor, probably. Advance! Oh my god, you guys. Get up here. I had one regiment shot up a bit yesterday. Trying to hit these enemy anti-tank guns as they withdraw. Right. So let's halt the artillery here. You can reload there. I wonder if any warship like art based artillery plays a role in this game at all. They're still moving, I think. Or not. Ooh, those Italian infantry do not fare well against enemy armor. They're also being shot up by artillery. Let's link those infantry and armor up. All right, so we routed this British armored unit. This British one is still fighting. But I think the German infantry attacking from the flank will help save the Italian infantry. My own armor is going to push in here. The enemy's routed. Let's push forward. The enemy infantry is the only thing that really worries me at this point. Like, they're, they're the only guys that are... Can you guys move? Like, why is everybody moving so damn slow? You've got supply. Push inland, bastards. Or the enemy has a chance to reinforce. 
or pull back. All right, so some of our troops are low on ammo. I need to spread out my, my units a little bit more. First, first tower Hamlet rifles are retreating. All right, so we've got a strong Australian unit here. Authority. Strike coming in. So we are losing a bit of armor here in the, these attacks. My own infantry are lagging a bit behind. We did break him though, pretty quickly too. We're already withdrawing. And we're gonna hurt him as they retreat. Bombard Benghazi. We've taken this airfield of Benghazi now. Now that we've taken this coastal road, they'll have to retreat a long way. So we can push through the coastal road to kind of close to Mercy. But are, are our Italians moving at all? Guys, stay on the roads. Please, or the tracks, or whatever you want to call them. Stay on the fucking tracks. Also, take the Dame Airfield over there. All right. So, the enemy's withdrawing out of Benghazi. We'll take that. We did lose one of our infantry units got routed again. Did I, did I let them get chewed up? Not too badly. I guess we lost about 500 more men so far today, but they've lost about 1,000. So... It's still pretty, pretty good results, I think. Low on ammo and fuel. We'll chew these guys up as they withdraw. Let me air attacks keep sort of having minor attrition on my troops. And then let's, we should ferry our uh, aircraft up all the way down here. But let's do one more airstrike. Or not. I guess we'll just ferry you guys up to Benghazi. Oh, they pulled back into Benghazi. Well, what the fuck? Or they put troops back into Benghazi? I'm confused. Where are you going? You're pushing your troops down the coastal road. All right, we took Benghazi. Where are these guys going? They're routed. That's probably why. All right, we're ferrying our aircraft forward. Well, this is a mess. So they're going to be like in our lines then on this next day. But I also think these guys should, it's a port. So do we draw supply? Meanwhile, how are these Italian units doing? Still moving across the desert, but they're slowly, ever so slowly moving on the objective. I don't know that we're going to get there in time at their speed. All right, so let's hit these guys with Artie. And infantry. I mean, we basically have to destroy these guys. All 
right, so these, what do they have left? 600 troops in this Australian Infantry Battalion. Already running. There's still 500 of the, the troops left, though. That's the problem. It's like, I don't know what to freaking do if they won't just die. Like, they, if you're really that rough off, then just surrender already. All right. Meanwhile, I'm really depending on you, Italians. That might be dangerous, but I really am. So take these bases for me, okay? Give me some recon on what might be at this base, too. So it looks like the bulk of what's left of the British, at least their artillery, is out this way. Disorganized there. I'm just a little bit spread out because I, I haven't really been able to figure out like how to eliminate some of these British units that are still in our rear a bit. Looks like we do have supply coming in from Benghazi, though, so at least if these troops are retreating sort of over here, they don't pose a real threat to our supply. Okay. So some heavy fighting north of Benghazi. Let's bomb some of these guys. So we're chewing up most of the enemy troops that are facing us at this point. Almost up to three to one losses in terms of the enemy infantry. shoot at anymore. Did we ever get recon on the enemy base over here? We just got it. Australian infantry and some anti-tanks. That's not exactly what I'm looking for as I'm moving my uh, Italian armored division out that way. Can the 5th get there in time, I guess, is the question. And then can we trust the 19th to hold? If we want to have the 19th hold Benghazi. Okay, let's finish off these remaining enemy tanks. Be great to wipe out what's left of the enemy. Might be the guns we wipe out instead. There we go. They surrendered. Nice. All right, 19th Division, stay here. Go bomb that enemy armor. Maybe you can finish it off. Got it. Okay, 5th Division. Move out! 5th Division, move up the road toward El Abir. 19th Division, I think we can trust you to hold Benghazi. If 
think. And we did take this one base here. You guys are making your way toward Merceal. I don't know if you have supply out this way. It does look like you do. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see how well the Italians can uh, <laughs> manage the last objective as we approach the end of day six, moving toward day seven. I mean, the Germans might be able to get there. Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. As fast as I can go, speed-wise. I'd like to relocate these aircraft closer to the front, which I think is down here. So, so we're going to ferry our aircraft south. Why am I only selecting this one armored unit? Shouldn't they all be moving? All right, day seven. Let's take a look at the casualties through six days of fighting. Every single enemy armored unit is destroyed, all 112 enemy tanks. 24 of their 36 artillery guns are destroyed, so they only have, or anti tank guns, so they only have two anti tank or 12 anti tank guns left. 72 of their 144 aircraft have been destroyed on the ground when we took their airfields, so that's actually huge for us, especially depending on whether it was their recon or their strike aircraft. They still have almost all their artillery, and they've lost about one-fifth of their infantry, so significant losses on their end at 18%. We've lost less than 10%, so it's considering minor losses. 22 of our tanks have been lost, but none of the Italian tanks, which will be moving forward, have been lost so far. Um, and yeah. I'm kind of confused why when I issue orders, to, when I click the 27th, no one is, oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So everybody move both of the armor units. Yep. Okay. So this armor back here probably won't keep up. Recon, move forward toward Marcilli. Fifth Division, I guess, push forward this way. Do we just, the question is, do we just, like, let the enemy threaten our flank, or do we try and go for these enemy artillery pieces? I feel like we should go for their artillery if we can. So maybe push north with one of our armored units here. Do as much damage to these guys as we can. I don't know if any additional British units will move in to try and retake Benghazi. Oh, they probably will. Oh, no. Okay. So, artillery. We've got 500 and 600 troops. I've got way more. But, but, it's Italian. Move our armor back. There's no enemy armor left, so we'll move. I, I don't, I don't like the idea of splitting my 5th division quite up like this, but I will, I will do it. So artillery is being attacked directly, which is not good. But it did drive the enemy units off. And they routed my artillery. 
All right, enemy anti-tank guns here against my infantry. The Italians do pretty well against that. And about an even fight against their infantry. We outnumber them heavily. Okay. Drove those anti-tank guns off. Maybe we should move these guys forward a little bit then. Meanwhile, it's noon, and the Italian troops are about to show up at this objective. So let's go ahead and pause. Let's get some recon up in the air, and then we're going to want to launch a strike. By the way, if the enemy, like, secretly moved in behind me and took that airfield, that would suck. Can these guys even reach out this far? Oh, yeah, they can. Okay. And our supply can reach that far, too. Nice. All right. Fifth division is moving. Be great if my arm, my artillery wasn't routed. In any event, I think Benghazi's safe. I don't think the British infantry have the stomach to push us out. Even if it is Italian troops. All right, so let's pause here or slow down. So we've got Italian armor moving in against anti-tank guns and infantry. And do we have any artillery of our own? With these guys, we do. All right, so let's go ahead and pound the enemy anti-tank guns on the airfield to the north with our artillery. Our infantry off the road. We'll take the airfield first, swing south to take Marcelli. All right, the artillery should disorganize the enemy. I don't love the idea of moving the tanks this way, though, because that'll expose them to the fire of the troops down here. So let's wait for these guys to get into position. Meanwhile, our 5th Division is still a ways back, but we'll keep them moving toward the objective. And Benghazi should remain ours as well. We'll get some infantry in there. This is the full preview. This is The game comes out on the 7th, but this is the full version of the game. All right, so we have approached the enemy at McCalley. It's the end of day seven. We're moving into day eight. The enemy has lost all of their armor. They have 112 tanks lost out of 112, 25 of their 63 anti-tank guns, 19 of their 144 artillery pieces, and 72 of their 144 aircraft. They've also lost 4,300 troops for a total of 21% of their force. We have lost 1,500 soldiers, so a little bit less than one-third. Uh, we have lost 20 of our 36, 200, 306 tanks. We have lost 17 of our 132 anti-tank guns and 8 of our 108 artillery pieces. Uh, no aircraft loss. So, we know where the enemy is. Is this an enemy? Oh, that's our armor. So let's get that Italian armor forward. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and issue an air attack order on these enemy anti-tank guns, which I think are the main threat for us. We will also issue orders to our artillery to bombard these guys. The infantry is already moving in place to make an attack. Let's actually move these guys north. So they're going to move one hex this way, then our armors. That way I can avoid entirely the enemy troops down here. Our 5th Division is advancing as well, at least most of it, the armored units. I'm still going to send one of these guys back to Benghazi. I don't, I don't know if I trust, like, 
for all we know, the Italian, there could be reinforcements on the way. So let's send one of our armored units back to Benghazi. The other armored unit will try and catch up with the uh, 5th Division as it moves forward. Okay, so let's go. So the enemy anti-tank guns are disorganized and our troops have begun to attack. We've actually got good odds here. You can see the enemy, well, now that the artillery bombardment ended, the enemy defense gets much better. But they can only shoot at our tanks. And now I can attack three ways on these guys. So we've got a flanking attack to the north and we've driven them out. So there we go. So the enemy infantry routed. And now we can move on to the airfield. We drove back their anti-tank guns as well. These guys will shoot at the routing troops. The artillery will shift south to McCauley. And I don't think there's any, any, any anti-tank guns to threaten my Italian armor at this point. I don't know why their infantry moved back here. They're just going to get slaughtered. But they did. I guess it interrupted our advance. There you go. So you can see our infantry versus theirs have a considerable advantage now that we routed their anti-tank guns. And now we're attacking with three battalions against their one. And uh, I think that's going to give us all the advantage we need. Let's pound these guys with more arty. So we drove one of the battalions back, and now they move the other one forward. And now McKelly is open again. So let's move those troops forward. Take the one remaining base. And I guess probably just set up to defend against an enemy counterattack at this point. Move our artillery forward. Meanwhile, the 5th Division is still coming up. Shit. Well, Benghazi fell back to the enemy. What happened? God damn it, you Italian troops. Okay, 5th Division, turn around and go back and get Benghazi. <laughs> What did they attack with? Um, so they have no armor. It was just infantry, and they just, I guess, beat us. Great. We still have supply. <laughs> well, that's actually a supply base that we just took. Or Cal, or whatever. Um, nice. So the enemy has no more attack aircraft by the looks of it. Okay. Um, routed. Routed, routed, great. Well, maybe my one, <laughs> my one tank unit that's in the area can go save the day. Well, my other Italian troops at Macalia did their job. They, they, they took that with a combined arms attack that worked really well. All right, what's the um, overestimating the Italians? Yeah, I guess so. It is noon on this particular day. Even the British morale, it's even like, yeah, our morale low. Our morale's low. Not great. All right, so the Germans are turning around. No, nope, maybe they're not. You guys, you really got to get back there. I can't. Go to fucking Benghazi, okay? Okay. And, like, march over the damn track to get you there faster, Okay. There you go. Meanwhile, Italians... Oh, shit. We're almost out of ammo up here. Do we not have supply? No, it says we should. Huh. Gotta love it. So is the issue that we're just out of ammo then? Because we're getting driven back here. guys are just going to get shot to pieces until they route. Oh, nope. Their ammo came up just in fucking time. So one of our battalions of infantry were routed. But at least these guys should, I think, be able to... They're driving them back. Yeah, okay. So the ammo came up just in time. One of our battalions was routed, but the other guys are holding for the moment. Move 
under this armor to McKelly to take it, but then the rest of the fifth division is is pulling back, right? Yeah, they should be. Gotta go retake fucking Benghazi. Do we have any supplies out this way? Yeah, okay, these guys should should be able to resupply. So we have sixty tanks and nineteen guns moving into tape moving back toward Benghazi. Oh. Okay. Well, not three to one casualties anymore <laughs> in our favor. I mean, it was. It is true that the nineteenth, which is what we left, is more of a reserve division, I believe. So, don't do what I did. Why are these guys not moving? I'm ordering them to move. <sighs> okay. I believe morale recovers over time. But in an individual battle, like if you take heavy losses, it's going to take a bit. Meanwhile, our bombers are apparently hurt. Give me a recon flight over there. Tell me what's there. Yeah, I mean, the AI definitely snuck in behind me. I was That's why I was worried about pulling the British. I, I guess I didn't even need to send the 5th Division. That's the other thing. Is I sent the 5th Division out not needing to. Because the Italians that I had sent toward Macaulay were completely up to the task. I don't even know where the 5th Division's HQ is. Like, why wouldn't you use the roads, guys? It's day 9, by the way. You don't have a ton of time left to figure this out. Did they retake Benghazi, like, right before I took McKelly? Is that why the game didn't end? So you can see like these troops, their morale is actually not even low. Oh shit. We got a lot of fucking infantry all around here. Their morale is good too. All right, what are these anti-tank guns? me an air attack. All right. Italian infantry wrecked these goddamn anti-tank guns. You can do that, right? Why have HQs and everybody can run around like chickens? Goddamn right. You know what's interesting is tanks die like droves, but artillery pieces seem to sure survive a lot of fucking fighting. Okay, so our artillery pieces are going to get shot up here a bit. Rob Nomad, thanks for the follow. I mean, all these Italian troops are coming up. How's the 5th Division coming, guys? Move your fucking asses. A 
about out here? What's going on over here? Looks like we're actually holding okay toward this other objective. So keep it up, boys. At least for now. Those Italian tanks are helping. Yeah, like this enemy infantry trying to move across open terrain. Three to one, hit everywhere. They're not going to do well. But I just don't know if my infantry is going to get back in time. Okay. All right, go move forward here. So these Italian troops actually doing okay. They fight okay for a little bit, and then they're like, nope, we done. I guess they are green. There's like none of these troops. This battalion up here to the north, these North Umbrians, there's like a hundred troops left. Okay. The Italian troops out this way are doing okay. Keep driving off the enemy. Let's just pray there's no British reinforcements coming in. It's day nine. Four more days. I mean, we might be able to retake this easily enough. We'll take the airfield, that's for sure. Yay. Those guys are routed. Those guys are routed. So it helps us that we've already defeated a lot of these British units. I think. These guys are low on supply and ammo. I don't know that we have trucks that are really going to get to them. It's pretty much nightfall. And we're out of ammo. Routed. Routed. Get up there, guys. Well, maybe we should pull back a little bit then, because... Oh, shit, I can't move the tanks. Okay, great, let's get them all killed. Because I have no fuel. So run away, you bastards. Lost 10 more tanks there. God damn it! Well, the rest of the division's coming up. I think we'll win, but... The number of tanks that we lost was completely unnecessary. 82 tanks! Almost all German, I think. Like, 40 of them in that one regiment. Rommel's shaking in his boots and pissed. Oh, well, that ain't good. Maybe some of them were the Italian tanks over here, too. I think about half of them were probably those Italian tanks. But yeah, we lost like 40 German tanks there, completely unnecessarily.
What a clusterfuck. You're watching the Germans get slaughtered by man. Hey, I started off brilliantly, okay? I started off brilliant fuckingly. I just got incompetent as the battle went on. It was victory disease or something. I don't know. Okay. Can we claim victory yet? Both objectives taken. We lost about a third of our tanks. But the enemy lost way more than we did. They lost double our infantry. They lost all their tanks. Yeah, but Sean Mac, the Italians don't count. Let's be real. I have 140 tanks. That's what I had. The Italian tanks don't count. I don't, I don't care what you're going to say. What I want to know, though, is can I claim victory at this point? Or, like, do I have to... Will the, will the battle end at the end of this day if... The Royal Northumbrians are, are, are goners. Maybe we can repair some of those tanks I lost. But they had such marvelous tankettes. Well, they did that. There we go. Major victory for us. So don't you question me. I was brilliant. Uh, the Air Force losses, I think, were probably the, the coolest because I feel like those are hard to inflict. Uh, we wiped out their strike aircraft. Um, but yeah, 6,000 casualties against the enemy versus 3,000 of our own. Um, 97 tanks, so we did repair some of ours. If we go to the OOB, we take a look here. The This Panther unit suffered pretty heavily. Uh, it inflicted more losses than it took, but its current strength is like one-third of what it started at. The other guys barely lost. They didn't even lose 10%. Um, but yeah. Meanwhile, we wiped out the 6th Royal Tank Regiment, the 5th Royal Tank Regiment, um, and the 3rd Armored Brigade entirely. The King's Dragoon Guards lost about 50% of their strength. The 9th Australians didn't engage. 20th Australians, I guess, 9th and 20th Australians uh, engaged but didn't do much. The Motor Brigade, I don't even know if they showed up. Yeah, the 2nd Armored Division was basically wiped out. Uh, and the 2nd Support Group was almost wiped out. So, bad day for those units. If we take a look at losses... Okay, we can really get into details here. I did not lose a third of my strength. I lost Italian tankettes. They don't count. Anyway, so that'll lead us to... So that was kind of a shit show of an episode. Uh, it started off reasonably in hand and things seemed to go well and then things went sideways real fast and it turned into a whack-a-mole. With that being said, you can see casualties for the operation or the campaign as a whole on the right side of the screen. Battles fought and won as well. What I'm not clear on is if casualties carry over from battle to battle, especially on like equipment and tanks. I'm assuming they do to some extent because it does have, sort of make a point of showing you the OOB of battles before and after and these battles are linked, and there is a little bit of alt history. So I'm assuming that tank losses get replaced at some sort of percentage, because obviously they do over time in the campaign. But I'm guessing, like, if units are wiped out or if they lose a lot of troops, then that plays a role in future battles. I'm also not clear if experience transfers over. I'll have to take a look and, and see if the game tells me that in, like, the manual or tutorial or anywhere uh, but yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first look at Attack at Dawn. Sorry that battle went sideways. 
Uh, but it was a fun one to play. It was on my Twitch channel on Friday night uh, where we where we live streamed it. Uh, if you're interested in joining those, there's a link in the description. There's also a link to Attack at Dawn, uh, which is an upcoming uh, war game. comes out on June 7th, developed by Panzer Division Games. And uh, I think that's all I got for you guys tonight. So I hope you have a nice one. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out. Oh, and obviously, as you can see, the next battle is Tobruk. Let me know if you want to see me uh, play that and continue this series. And now, without further ado, I'm out. I mean it this time.